welcome to a special edition of my base tour that belongs to our tribe. Um, I've decorated it um, and I really, really love it. The idea we got was um, an apartment. And this entire building has different floors and this is mine. There's the trophies from the three caves here. This is my big storage unit and you can actually put objects inside these little cubby holes. This is a view out the window. These steps are not only dramatic but they also have my life box. In case I die and wake up in the bed this is where I just put this into it so I can go retrieve my body. That's the bed below. Um, there's terrariums all along the right hand side of storage. That's the call button for the elevator. But it's not the only way to get up and down from my apartment. On the right hand side there's rings. And this is The elevator coming down. And here's all my little glow pads. I apologize for that. Our neighbors are doing something. <laughs> all the floors have water supplies, which we piped in from the lake that's at the front. And I have lots of charge pads on. I have to say that I'm just obsessed some decoration to give it light also on my floor kind of a modern look to it the uh, gondola not gondola but the gazebo type area where they're sitting it was placed in there I have storage all over the place and animals. here's the section where I keep my some of my animals. Where I keep my dodos and my ravengers. Some more decorating. Little trophies. Specialty animals. Whatever. I like to look at them. And then. Some more decorations. My candy. This is from the recent events. Now here is my balcony where I have a zip line off. This cool armchair and my balcony where I can look down. Nice tree. Another charge pet over there. <laughs> he's he's slacking on the job. Hey, I gotta turn you on. There you go. There you go, buddy. He likes it out here. Okay, and like I said, there's a zip line which I can use to get over the balcony wall instead of having to jump. And it also will go down. I can run or jump or fly or whatever. This also can get back up to my area, which you can see. There's my carcanos, and you can see the whole building. I'll get down here and show you later. You'll get to see everything. That's my Carcano Sheldon. <laughs> kind of my big bang guy. And uh, the reason we can leave our animals out here is because there are gun turrets, which you will see later. And there's uh, my Diplo. It was for Christmas. And it's really cool at night. When it's really dark outside, you just see the the lights of the Diplo. It's really pretty. Well, you can see the building is huge and everybody has their own floor and then their common floors. Um, there's our basilisk. We have a few. I think we have four. Yeah. There are sentries. They're put on turret mode. There's wrinkles. He don't put up with anybody's 
um, yeah, bad move. <laughs> then we have um, spike walls around the front. That's to protect from the entrance so it always is free and clear. And we come in with tinted glass on the gate. And here we have some utility animals. Um, metal structure. And it looks like, you know, wow, this place is empty. We have a bear for berries and some light pets if you forget yours. We have two teleports. That daughter in the back is to my apartment and this one goes to the common area which is in the floor above us. And you have two options. You can either go down or you can go up. This is an elevator to the top floor. We'll show you later. That's a, a mod actually for element converter. Put it into ticket form. This is all of our storage separated. Uh, that's our organic polymer system over there. Here's some armor, weapons, saddles, common stuff that we don't keep for our private use. That if you have extra or you've replaced your armor with something better, you can put it down here and anybody can use it. Here's our observation deck. Kind of based on the soundtrack. <laughs> we have one turret over here and another one on this side. We usually don't have any trouble up here. There are animals that spawn, but because we have the structure, the spawns are kind of to a minimum. They come wander to us more than anything. This is our egg collector and our water supply. And as you can see, we have a chemistry bench and a uh, smithy and S plus tables, a cook pot. We have our mod benches. We have a forge we also can use for cooking. We have lots of refrigerators and all this kind of stuff. So this is the main common area. This goes all the way to the top. We'll use that in a second. Oh, there's our trophies. Alright, and on the right is also some more storage area for our radiation gear if you need it. Up here is more decorative. I guess you could call it. I also store some of my animals here that will be transported to my other bases, which you'll get to see later. These are some terrariums. It's supposed to be sort of like a museum. In case you get homesick, you can come look at them. But those are in mods. Um, there's so many. As you see, we do get some spawns down there, but uh, nothing too, too scary. This is the balcony that overlooks a common balcony and it overlooks the courtyard down below. I'm going to get an idea if anything's going on. Alright, there's the terrariums. Now on this side we have paintings of uh, I mean our, our flags that we got from bosses. Um, some paintings that we made of the kids when they were babies. <laughs> Our dragons. Uh, yeah. They're kind of cute. Okay, over here is the greenhouse. And also our giant bee. If we need honey, we'll put it in. People get forget to feed her. So. <laughs> and it's like a park. I made it like a park. And let's see. Inside here is the greenhouse. And we keep our our dung beetles in here and they get fed automatically from the egg collector. It'll put poop in there regularly. And we have to come in and put the fertilizer in from time to time. It's a very simple process. That click you heard is all the lights are triggered day and night. Okay, now I'm standing on an elevator. And as you can see, it's up there, but it goes to all the floors. But we're going to start at the top and use this elevator. Boom! <laughs> now we're on the top floor. And up here we have a ring, which connects to that ring that's down below. In case we want to transport something big like a Rex or something. This is one wing on the right, which as you can see is empty. Um, 
and we also have a second floor to these wings that come out we have some of our our dragons here the reason we don't have as many dragons in here is because everybody except me has also a secondary base that they have that they can do any way they like or whatever it's just our main common base and I don't I don't feel the need to make another base but some do uh, have bases in the blue area or the not in the pink but down below this is unfinished <laughs> we ran a little snafu on the, putting the balcony out here I have tech gates and I mean windows or whatever you want to call them and that's that side those are lights, those poles. This goes down to a second area, but I'll show you that in a minute. This goes out to a large balcony. Our runway lights. So we see where the edges are. This is fun to jump off of. Um, the gates that you see right there, those all uh, are panels, but some of them open. So you can fly out the top. All right, here's another wing. There's another view from below, lots of windows, and try to put tech, you know, these S plus tables around so you can uh, put off stuff if you find you have some. Going in and out. This one here, this was the one that opened. I'll show you better later and we have some more dragons over here this one doesn't go to a secondary floor um, but it's being built in case we need it we can keep comfortably in here we have lots of listos and we even have a pig to help heal if anybody comes in and they're worn out from battle <laughs> Everybody has a name place, so we have parking assigned parking because this used to be a jumbled mess, and so we solved this problem by putting lights and a plaque where you can always park your dragon, and you wouldn't, you won't be in anybody's way. Okay, this one is coming straight out here. You'll see. There's also another way down and up, which is important. That you can jump down from anywhere, or you can hook up. A zip line anchor and this one's a little tricky um oh, let's see if you can go down okay and then um see we're having some construction and building a second tier maybe if we ever get it finished There are some spawn points that are underneath this structure uh, where things will come down. But you can run up and down here. But if you want to go back up, this is just one of the ways. If the eleva elevators are occupied or, you know, there's lots of places in and out of this structure. So you don't have to run around looking for an exit. Okay. All right, get a view from the top. And you go down here. This is um, um, it's meant for to have animals or whatever, but we don't have anything up here right now. The reason being is that the, all the people that were supposed to occupy this building, they're so busy building their other stuff. This is a look straight down. Yeah. Okay. So they have kind of minimal bases. You can tell that um, some people are still in the process of building their apartments. But they have a bed on each floor and they can put up their storage or however they want. It's kind of cool. It's another mod you can add. Mm. Huh. He's sleeping. We'll keep going. His feather lights and his ammo. He's got his own fridge. Okay. And in the back here, 
Like I said, everybody has their own water supply. And then on this side, he has room for his animals. And he also has a ring set down there. He can go in and out. So it's not just the main elevator you have to wait for. And this is how it works. You just press the call button. And it will try again. Sometimes you have to hit it twice. Elevator called. Here it comes. Alrighty. And then you, when you get on it, you just press the number of the floor that you want to go to. So we're going to go down to the next floor. Here we go. And this is another tribe mate. Uh, sometimes these floors don't line up, but we're working on that. Um, on this floor, he doesn't really live here, but so we put the grinder here. And it, it also has a water supply and it is also the place where we keep the generator if we need it. He has a box here and a bed if he needs it. He rarely uses it. You can tell he doesn't have anything hardly at all here. And it's, you know, empty on the other side. There's my floor again. Which is fully decorated because this is my one and only base here. Okay, the next floor is another tribe member. And we're a small tribe. And he fully decorated the base here for himself. He's got storage and whatnot. Very creative way, you know, to deal with things. And I think we did a really good job. He's even got a TV. <laughs> a fireplace. Nice, very nice. Um, he likes uh, tech floors. And he likes to see who's coming to see him. He also has a doorbell and uh, an aquarium. And some trophies. But he also has a fully developed base in the... It's still in the fertile zone, but it's closer to the blue area. This one is pretty far away from everything. And he has a balcony over here, but he didn't have many animals, but he didn't finish either the sections, but that's his prerogative. But if he ever wants to, huh, there's the bell. How was the doorbell? Um, he has a terrarium over here, a table, and another balcony. It's, it's highly individual. You can build them any way you want to, you know? It's just a matter of a, a imagination. And then we can... Um, you can go down, go up this... this. <laughs> there it is. Ding dong! You have to wait till it fills up. And then we're back down to the nice floor, I would say. Not the work floor, but the nice floor. The lobby, I would call it. And there you go. So, let's go up here and... We'll fly out. I'll show you how. This is Chalice, my rock drake. He's actually the two sitting their sisters. They're both mine. You even have a pig in here. I think I said that. Over here, before I go, I wanted to show you that we have the troughs. And this is set up in a very special way because all the carnivores were eating all the fish. So we put the otters on the left side with the vegetarian so they have plenty of fish. And then all the meat eaters and rotten meat eaters and chitin or whatever on the right hand side. And you can tell the trough who can eat out of which trough. Just be real careful about setting up. Make sure you have everybody accounted for. Otherwise, you'll have an animal that's not need eating out of either and they'll starve to death. So, we also have a gun to, to protect this section over here. And you see, it just opens up and you can take off and fly. 
That's pretty awesome. And if you go on this side, you've got, you can see we have crystals. You also have zip lines to what we call them, the pancakes. They look like pancakes with syrup running down them. <laughs> it's one of the pancakes on the left side. And that has access to going around the lake or over it. There's our turrets, our basilisk. Um, we usually have a lot more carcanos here, but I think people are using them or something. All right, there's, now we have full spawns over here, but they usually, if they make it all the way around, they get killed. And there's um, standard spawns. You got the carnos and the penis horses. You have dodos, dodies, um, ravengers, listos, um, horses. Diplo up here. Same, just about everything. Bears. Almost everything that spawns on the fur level spawns right here in this little yard area so roll rats all of it and so it's easy place to tame and then this side goes obviously down to the lake areas you can get to them it's like a tiered section if you go all the way to the bottom that's there's a cave down there that goes to the, the surface and fly back up. There's the rings. It also attaches to one of uh, the other bases. In here. And go to the other pancake. Where you can catch rods <laughs> to uh, to the other maps. That's got 50 left on it, so I'm going to take this guy back up so we can go to another base and give you a tour of that. And this is about it. I really, really love this base. I think it looks great and it functions really, really well. And it, it's very communal. If you have a supply of, you know, organic palm or something, you just go put it in the community stocks and everybody does that. So almost every time you come to repair something or get something, it's there. And that's awesome. And to get back in, you just climb around until you get to the door. It's not that difficult. Sometimes. Once you get the hang of it. Uh, there we go. Alright, you just go in, park, and you're good to go. And it's, uh, it, I really like the base. I think it functions really well for a lot of people. We each have our privacy, we each have our own. Uh, apartments that we can set up any way we want to. You know, you can set it up any way you want. And we share community things, but we also have a place for our own private weapons or radiation suits or what have you. Yeah. It's as simple as this to get back. And that's where I'm going right now. I'll go back to that drop. That's as soon as we get the the um, tech obelisk or whatever you call that little thing that you upload um, then we will have to do this jumping around trying to find a, a drop but that's the tour of my my tribe base here on Aberition. real proud of it and love it all that good stuff and I thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this base tour and I'm going to do all the rest of my bases too that's where we're going now.
and uh, hope to see you in the next episode. So we'll talk to you later. Bye!